Hello everybody, it's Rhonda and I'm going to do another little video of what's in my Michael's craft boxes. This first one has rhinestones and bling. So, in this box, there's a lot of this little recollection bling pieces in here and didn't even know I had them. Um, those, some little bird cages, there's some blue, these little crosses, and they were only 99 cents when I got them, and, um, they came from Michael's, but they're real cute, so... I'm going to try to be using them. Here's some little silver trim for Michaels. A uh, little pack of embellishments. And I used to get a lot of recollection stuff I see. There's one and one little piece is missing. Um, some jewelry something. These little adhesive tiles. And these boxes, they also have these little dividers. And I thought they would be good to use to make like a little mini album. So that's probably what I do with them. So that's the first box. And if you hadn't been following me, um, I have decided to go through these boxes and I did go through the white ones last week so this one has flowers so I do go to this one um, a lot to pull out little flowers and stuff and they have like those little Michaels flowers um, these are actually hair clips so and these are flower cupcake picks so I guess I just pick up any type of little cheap flower and put it in a little box there are some of those Michaels flowers and these um, Petaloo and they came from Hobby Lobby and just different little flowers and stuff these are some little doilies Some little sand flowers, so just an assortment of flowers. These are some Jolie flowers, and a lot of, when I get little stuff from Michaels, it's always in the clearance aisle or the little ass is. So I do get a, a lot of little stuff, but it's cheap. So um, since I've been on YouTube, I've learned to shop a little different. This box has in bloom buttons, cakes, and something else. I don't let's see what's in this box. I remember I was looking and looking for these little, I think they're by Prima. They came from Hobby Lobby. They're little stickers. So now I know what those are. Um, these little architecture. They're like little door hinges. And I, I think these came from Big Lots a while back. There's some little ribbon. It was a dollar. Hobby Lobby. Some of the Jim Holtz ribbon. And I think I got that from Hobby Lobby too some time ago. And then just an assortment of little buttons and the little dress up buttons. These were dollar nineteen. There's some little in bloom. Some more little crosses. These little knickknack buttons. So I guess it pays to kind of go through 
our stuff and this is Easter so I'm pretty sure I got it after uh, Easter sale so that's that one and I have found that my camera will not go past five minutes without making it hard to do a video so I'm gonna try this this industrial sheep box and then I'm gonna cut this video off but it says industrial chic and inside this box and I remember when I first started doing YouTube videos everything I seen that somebody else had I would go out and try to get but at that time I had um, a better job and I was making a little more money than my new job but I remember getting these because I thought they were so they were different but I never did anything really with them so these are little metal can um, containers And that is um, some, a page that you can use in a junk journal. So, that's my boxes for this week. And um, I do hope that you come back and join me for my next little video of what's in my Michaels boxes. And, like I said, there are a few of them. And um, they're just little boxes, you know, around everywhere in this room. So... Before I finish, I hope to be have gone through all these little boxes to see what's in them and tr just start, you know, de-stashing and um, getting rid of some stuff. Thanks for watching and I will talk to you later.